What do we need then? First off, we need a pump. Let's go possibly, well, at least check the pressure gauge. Uh, we're going to need unvented certificates. That's about it for now. So we've got ourselves a Turbine XE. So we're going to be having a little look and seeing what's what we need to do. So first off, we need to check to see whether the pressure relief valves have been letting by. Because this is something that if you start doing the normal service without checking these first, you could miss something. So we found the manual, the logbook. The, oh, yeah, it's a logbook. It's a logbook like a car. So it's got your benchmark certificate at the back that you need to sign off at the end of the job. And we're going to start by opening up the pressure relief valves. Now what you need to do is you need to open them up at least halfway for about five seconds according to the manual. Now I do it for about 10 seconds just to see whether or not it backs up. Now you've got to remember when they do operate, they just drip. They don't actually open up full. It's very, very, very rare for them to open up full. So now this one here is the temperature relief, which is actually attached to the cylinder. The other one is on the pipe work and that just does the pressure. I mean, they both do pressure, but you have two separate ones. So when you are opening them up full, you need to click them over. I always click them over. So just put a rag around it, stop any spillage. Now, although I serviced this one last year, so I know the pipe work is absolutely fine, we're just going to check the pipe work and the dimensions to make sure that according to the manufacturer's instructions. Now, if we look at the label on the side of the cylinder, it will tell us what our pre-charges are for um, any expansion vessels. So if we have a look up, we go all the way up to the operating pressure and expansion vessel charge, NA. That's because it has an internal expansion vessel. Now, it's a baffle. So what we need to do here is we need to trace it back, see if there's anywhere in the air and cupboard that we can turn off and isolate the cold water supply to the cylinder. So luckily if we've chased it down, and there it is, there's a stop tap, so we're going to turn that off. Now that that's off, we can open up the hot water and let that drain down. Now it shouldn't take too long to drain down. But what we're doing is we're going to recharge the, basically there's like a pressure vessel inside. Kind of looks like a bin lid, but we need to create a new air bubble inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the temperature relief valve. So we're just going to stand there, open that up, and it will make a load of glugging noise. And you need to wait until the noise completely and utterly stops and dies down. So why bother servicing an unvented cylinder? Well, for this customer, it please says, it, it please says, it says please service every 12 months. And the customer has had a little look. But what it is, is you can see at the bottom, all will invalidate your warranty. So to keep the warranty, the guarantee valid, then you need to get it serviced for at least six years. And then it runs out of warranty anyway. So we're not going to stand there like a wally. We're just going to put a key in. Now you can use a key or you can use a pound coin. And if you trap that under the relief cap, then it will just allow air in itself. And then you can get on with maybe filling out the benchmark certificate. So let's have a little look at the servicing page. And then, as you can see, it tells you all of the steps that you need to take. A lot of the checks are visual. You need to visually check the cables, make sure there's no splits, nothing's burnt out. You also just need to check over the pipe work, make sure everything's fine on that. And then you just need to have a look at the oper operating temperatures and make sure that they're set to the manufacturer's instructions. So now that that's stopped making any noise, we're gonna open up the cold feed and then we're going to purge the water. So we just need to open it up, make sure the stream is nice and steady so that the customer doesn't see any discoloration and the stream's nice. The only thing is with landscape, it looks like I'm looking over here. I've got to look in the, actually look in the camera like that. Right, unvented service, super easy, aren't they? So just follow the manufacturer's instructions. If they have, what's going on? Uh, if they do have, um, an expansion vessel externally then obviously that's what brought in the pump check that check your pressure vessels and make sure they're to whatever the manufacturer wants it's usually 0.5 of a bar over the incoming mains depends it all depends what brand it is all the different brands are slightly different on that one um, but you obviously just check that label on the cylinder check your benchmark book 
make sure that you followed all of the procedures and it just really all it does is it covers the guarantee so this customer i said to him look after next year because you get uh, i think you get six years warranty on those ones after next year realistically do you need it doing every single year now that's the question for you guys is is a service on an unvented cylinder needed every single year because most people what they do is when something goes wrong then they call out a plumber and they don't bother to get them serviced now i've seen some where they desperately needed a service for a long long time uh what else oh and then on this one as well it didn't clean out the filter for the simple fact that it was not that long ago that I replaced that combination valve. So it doesn't need doing. It's less than six months old, I would have said. Because uh, they had some water coming through the ceiling. Uh, D2 discharge pipe, that's all been replaced. Um, as you can tell, it looks a bit out of place. Because what I've, they, they didn't have a ton dish on the expansion vessel for the heating. Also, expansion vessel for the heating. That's down to the heating engineer, in my opinion. So he can check that. And that's it. Job done. Do you know what? People keep telling me that do YouTube and stuff. I'm like, you need to start saying at the end, oh, can you subscribe, please? Oh, please subscribe to me for more of this entertaining stuff. You probably just search this because you're looking at getting your invented cylinder service, but you're not interested in seeing me fit in a toilet. Well... I don't know. Subscribe.